Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is IJ, aka Zombie X Corn. Yes, the X is present. And today we are going to be looking at Ash Silverstone. Yes, the legend, the icon, the myth. <laughs> and Ash is actually my third favorite, so that's why he's right here, right now. And he's not the last, like many people probably were gonna do. And I'm so excited to get him out of the box. This is our third boy doll ever in the Rainbow High, Battle High, you know, cinematic universe. So um, I'm very excited to see another boy. And he's actually like really cute. So um, yeah. But guys, before we get into Ash, his box and all that jazz. Let me just roll my intro real quickly and we can get opening him. Yes. Hello? I just hit an Ariana Grande note. Hi. Okay, guys. So today we're going to be looking at Ash Silverstone. And honestly, I'm so excited to get him out of the box. Ever since I've seen his artwork, I really wanted him so bad. And he's just so cute. Oh my God. Look at his face. Look at his face. Let's look at his box real quickly so we can get him out of the box. Okay. At the top of the box, this is Series 1 Ash Silverstone. And it says, Let Your True Colors Shine. And the box is very rainbowy still. It's just very glitchy and it's fading to black. There's a sticker that says YouTube right there and it's in black. The Shadow High logo is right here and it's holographic. And on the bottom of the box, we can see all of the characters. We've so far opened Chanel and Heather. So if you haven't watched those reviews, um, they're down below and there's a Shadow High playlist. So yeah. On this side, you can see his really cool second outfit. It's very different and I, I honestly love it so it's really cool i can't wait to open it and see what it's all about on the back of the box it says shadow high and it shows all six characters in the hallways of shadow high i'm assuming and on the bottom it says rainbow high has officially met its match expect the unexpected from the fine art student of shadow high yeah and honestly the school in the background kind of looks like rainbow high but um I, I, we're not gonna we're not gonna tell them and guys if you're looking for ash here is his barcode go ahead and take a screenshot and you know do your thing scan it and all that as you guys may know yesterday was a pre-order date so um now now, if you can't find them in your stores, I found him at Walmart for $29.99, by the way. If you can't find them in the stores, they are going to be available on the 25th of April, so in a few days. Yeah, they're going to be everywhere, so don't worry, guys. Don't pay into scalpers because, like, these are not limited edition dolls. These are mass-produced dolls, so, um, yeah. I mean, eventually, you'll probably find these on clearance, so let's get Ash out of the box because I am so excited to see what he's giving, what he's about, and all that, and I really want to see what his AirPods are like. Let's get Ash out of the box. And he is out of the box and oh my god he's everything but before we get into all his details let's look at what he comes with first things first he comes with a brand new shadow high comb he also comes with a doll stand it has the original boy clip which is annoying because it's really thick and it's ugly so um i really wish that they would fix this already but it does have the brand new shadow high base and it's the same color as his comb he comes with his second outfit he comes with a second pair of shoes and this survey card. Okay, so here is Ash Silverstone in the plastic. He is really cool, and this is honestly a big step the right direction for boy dolls in the Rainbow High slash Shadow High universe. First of all, he has a brand new head sculpt. It says it's from 2022, surprisingly, as you can see back there. And I don't know, it just looks so nice. So he has honestly smaller eyes because the original boys, just like the girls, had really big eyes. And I think that's like kind of the downside to the original head mold. They're just like really big. These eyes are honestly 100% better. He has dark gray eyebrows that have some hairs in them. There's a little dark gray line right here to just show he has an eyelid and he actually has some dark gray kind of like shadow under his eyes. It's really cool. He does have eyelashes still but they don't look as bad as like River and you can also just cut them if you don't like the eyelashes on them. And he has a slight blue and green tint to his eyes. He has a gray tint to his lips and he has some very light blushing. For his hairstyle it's nothing spectacular so this is kind of in the wrong direction because we keep doing this like sweeped back thing but he has a gray gray kind of swept back hairstyle and his undercut is black and he has a little shaved line on both sides. It is quite messy. It looks like it's outgrown. You know, if you're a guy, you know, you know, but it's on both sides as you can see. I actually do like the flocking and I am probably going to wash his hair. I originally wasn't going to, but this little strand right here is like annoying me. He actually does have earrings, but they are AirPods. They're little pearlescent AirPods that have silver bottoms and they pretty much just clip into his ear upright instead of downwards like a girl would wear their earrings like this. It works either way and they 
fit perfectly in his ear. So um, I'm happy that they did these and you could give them to a Rainbow Hot Girl too if you really wanted to. If we move down to his outfit, he's wearing this really cool jacket. It's kind of made of a windbreaker material as you can hear. And it has a black collar right here. And there's this little piece of gray fabric right there. A little dot on it. The sleeves have black right here. And there is some writing right here. And it says 86. It says Shadow High, established in 2022. Anti-sparkle. I think the entire Rainbow High community at this point is anti-sparkle and any of the branding on the clothes. So, you know, Ash, you're in the right right here. And on this one, it says Shadow High since 2022. And it says Shadow High in the back. And he has faux zippers right here, along with some ribbons to say Shadow all way down with some hardware and the jacket isn't pinned this way it actually has a snap closes and opens right here to reveal his shirt now fun fact i actually have this shirt because mga sent me chanel and this shirt was included so i actually can twin with ash if i really want to so it's a black t-shirt has a triangle that says shadow three times and it is quite shiny moving down to his pants he's wearing these dark gray kind of cargo pants that are made of that same windbreaker material it has a light gray waistband they have real aglets that are embroidered and this pull string so you can make them tighter if you want to so probably a rainbow high girl could actually wear these we have a holographic not sure if that's japanese or chinese let me know in the comments below i didn't want to you know assume and it's holographic and there is a pocket on both sides there's also this little white cutout with a black pocket and it says level 99 and it does open on the side we have a shadow patch that's supposed to look like supreme we have two holographic stripes on both legs right here and on the back we have two more of those holographic stripes moving down to his feet he's wearing black socks with silver metallic stripes on them it kind of reminds me of adidas sock and his shoes do spell out shadow it's kind of reminding me of basic jade when her said rainbow you know they'd probably get along his shoes are in a really cool style i'm not sure exactly what shoe they're trying to mock but i have seen them in real life they have some white details as well and some black they have black laces and white bottoms and i forgot that boy dolls have articulated ankles for a second i was like oh my god they gave him ankles but anyways guys i am going to now show you his second outfit i'm really excited to like dissect this so um let's go First things first, we have a white he shirt that has a astronaut in the middle with a circle that's black and a bunch of stars. A really nice t-shirt. We have this really cool jacket. It's made of two materials. It's made of a cotton and a faux leather. We have a cotton white hoodie, a white trim right here. And on the bottom, the middle of the jacket is made of a, of a gray cotton. It has a metallic zipper pull right here, along with a bunch of buckles. They don't actually close. They're just there for looks and they are silver metallic. They're connected with these black pieces of ribbon. He has some faux pockets on the side. As for his sleeves, they're made of a white pleather material and they have a patch right here. This is Eclipse, silver and black. It's actually really cool. And he has a pocket right here with hardware and it does not open and it's the same on the other side the jacket is not lined on the inside and if you turn it to the back it just says shadow high he has some gray shorts that are made of a polyester or cotton there's a patch right here this is sh for shadow high it's white he has a few pockets right here and i believe they do actually open i'm just not going to do it he has two silver aglets right here with a pull string and they actually do function that is the way they're going to get them on the doll there's no velcro lastly he comes with black leggings and these are very interesting they have these zippers at the knee and there's a faux little pole handle right there. They're really like just like a big statement piece in my opinion if you were to wear them just like this. But they go under the short. As for a second pair of sneakers, they're white and have some gray details. On the top, it says shadow all the way around. They have some black laces and gray bottoms that are really detailed. And they say Los Angeles, California, United States of America, copyright 2022. And I've also seen these before and I don't know what they are as well. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go get Ash into his second outfit. I'm very excited because I really don't know what it's going to look like on him, but we shall see in a second. And here is what Ash looks like in his second fit. So I had some difficulties with the second fit. So getting on his leggings was difficult. Um, I did have the socks on originally, and I always do this with the boy dolls. I always leave the socks on, and they always give me struggles when I try putting them back on. So just don't use the socks with the um, leggings. And also, they're quite like tight at the like ankle area, so you're really going to have to really struggle to get those on. I was afraid I was going to break them, but um, I did manage to get them on. Another thing is they don't really Velcro, so um, they're kind of just like hanging free, so it's a good 
thing he does come with the shorts. Um, mine were just not sewn right at the Velcro area, so that's that as well. And also because of these things right here, it was quite difficult to get it over his like calves right here. So um, that's that as well. <laughs> but other than that, everything else was pretty easy to get on. It was just the leggings and it's always just the leggings. I noticed that every time I have leggings with dolls, they always give me struggles. But honestly, I really like his fit. It looks really good on him. It's very extra, but it's actually really cool. So I'm hoping one day I'll find another Ash so he can wear this outfit on display. But guys, I'm now going to put him back into his first fit, which, you know, is a pain because, you know, no, it took a minute to do this, so um, be me. And he's back in his first outfit, and it was hard to get the second one off. Anyways, guys, that is about it for Ash Silverston. Honestly, the best boy doll we've gotten so far. I'm sorry, Finn, but it's facts. I mean, the new head mold itself is everything. It does suck that he's gray, <laughs> but I mean, he's he's a really good boy doll. Like, he has a lot of good pieces. It reminds me of River, and I actually forgot River came with so much clothing pieces. That's something about boy dolls that a lot of people are sleeping on. They come with a lot of clothing pieces, so even if you don't like the boy dolls like the clothing pieces are good for girls too but anyways guys is he worth $29.99 I think he's probably the most worth it because he comes with the most stuff obviously so if you're going off of piece count honestly totally get him but if you're not into boy dolls don't get him you know you can completely skip on him but honestly why would you skip on him he's like super cool like look at his face <laughs> mine is this piece right here that's annoying me anyways guys that is the end of Ash's review let me know down in the comments below what are your thoughts on him and if you already have found any of the shadow high dolls let me know who you found I would love to know. <laughs> but if you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff. Duh. And I'd love you to join the channel. And if you are following me on Instagram or on TikTok, it's at zombiexcorn as well. And guys, I will see you in the next review, which is tomorrow. So bye for now.